Now, why have I got this drink in my hand? Is this vodka? Is this coronavirus getting to me that much? No, this is my water. We're gonna do an in-home HIIT workout. Okay, for, um, it's gonna be a 20 minute to 30 minute workout depending on how many circuits you do. Okay, you're gonna do these circuits at least twice. Um, uh, three times would be ideal. And if you're really feeling good and you wanna go again, then four times is the max. So somewhere between two and four circuits. We don't need much equipment. All we've got is water, okay? Put that down there out of the way before I drop it. And you've got a ball, you'll see down here. Okay, you can be anything. You can have a kettlebell, you can have a dumbbell, you can have a step if you're near the stairs, and it's just gonna be used for one of the exercises I'm gonna show you later. Okay, and you've got a mat, and that's all you need, okay? Right, so let's get straight into it, okay? We're gonna start the warm up, we're gonna do some jumping jacks to get things going, okay? So you've got that, you make sure you've got the temperature in the house down a little bit, if you've got that heated on, okay? You can do this in the garden, okay? Get some fresh air. Okay, make sure you got your posture good. Okay, you're looking forward, eyes up. And get ready to start, okay? From there, I want us to open up our hips. What we're gonna do is gonna position ourselves in a lunge position here, okay? We're gonna put our left foot forward. We're gonna flex forward into the position. So we've got a bit of a stretch going on our hip flexors. We've got a hand down here. We're gonna put our arm up. And we're gonna look to the sky or to the ceiling. More to the point here. Okay, really reach and stretch it through there. You get that feeling of the hips opening up. Then we do the other side. Same sort of thing. And there and reach up, okay? Just hold it there for about 10 seconds. Good, okay. So from there, we're gonna teach you the exercise we're gonna do later. Basically with the ball or with a step, or whatever you have, uh, something about this height, six or sort of nine inches um, off the floor that you can put your foot and touch. So basically, you can practice your skills if you love your football. But if it's just a case of you've got a step there, that's perfect, just keep touching it each time, get that cardio going. And we're going to use this in the circuit as well in a bit. Okay, ah, oh, that's good. Okay, so I want you to now big circle with the arms. So five each way, five the other way. Okay, so you should be feeling a bit warmer now, getting ready. So we're kicking to the main element, which we're gonna start very soon. Okay, so as I like to do, let's just practice our press-ups. Now today's press-ups will be a little bit different. We'll have our hands in a more narrow position, okay? But for now, we'll keep them wide, okay? I want you just to make sure when, you, when you're doing these press-ups and they're warm up, that you're not going too crazy with them. So you have your knees down. If you normally do four ones, just knees down. If you're sick, if you don't ever put your knees off, then bring them right in for the warm up. And just put your chest between your hands. Don't have to go all the way now, all the way down for now. Later, of course, we'll want the chest quite close to the floor. Okay. Do three more then. One, two, and three. Is what we call spidey climbers, okay? So, spidey climbers look something like this. Put our, both our hands to the floor. We bring one foot forward, we put the other leg back, okay? And if you've got a good fitness level and you really want to challenge, then we'll do them like this. We jump into position like so, okay? If you're not so sure and you're just starting things off and you're not so fit at the moment, um, you want to try a little bit easier version, then we just step in and out of position each time, okay? Try and keep some nice length in your spine, okay? Okay, good, right. Okay, I think it's time to get started. Seven exercises. 30 seconds each exercise. 15 seconds rest between each exercise. Repeat two to four times. And 60 seconds rest at the end of each round. No turning back now. Here we go. 30 seconds. Go! Intense there, of course, remember, 
we can go for a lesser intensity if we find that's all a bit too much. So stepping in and out of position. I'm gonna give it a go for the last few seconds. Why not? Whew. Okay, next exercise. Perfect, we've got our chair. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use our hands next to our bum and we're gonna do some straight arm bridges. So our arms stay straight and our legs come up and down through our hips. So we're squeezing the glutes there and getting the glutes, hamstrings and lower back working strong. Okay, and sit your floor, the, the clench right at the top there. Make sure you get it every time. Make sure we're working the muscles properly. Okay, good, so that's exercise two. Okay, exercise three is the one I was talking about. So having our ball, having our step, and doing a cardiovascular exercise that we did in a warm up. Ready, here we go. Try and see what pace you've got. Choose a pace that you can definitely last the 30 seconds for. So if you need to slow down, do so. Okay, but if you've got a little niggle in your knee, or your hip, it's also something that you should be careful of. But if you haven't got worries like that, then really go for it. Come on guys, what we got? Come on, there we are. Okay, good. All right, Whew. Okay, so exercise four is our now our press ups. So what we're gonna do is, Hands narrower. I like to put the fist down like so, and try and drop that chest. Remember I mentioned earlier, you wanna get that chest nice and low. You wanna feel it in the backs of your arms, and your chest, and your shoulders. Still got out of breath a little bit from the cardio exercise before. So right now your body's guessing what's going next, cardio strength, upper body, lower body, and that's the bit that really gets us fit. Okay, keep our bodies guessing always. You know, this workout's great. There's plenty of other good workouts we can do and we'll be getting through and you'll be seeing on this channel. Okay, so here we go. Exercise five now. Okay, is our burpees. So, hands to the floor. Legs jump back and in. And we jump up. Hands down, back, in and up. Okay. Back, in, and up. Watch how our knees bend. We really work on the squatted part of the movement so we don't use bad form. Okay, we do this kind of thing as we go down. It's definitely good posture each time. That's it. Okay, Whew. No one likes burpees. There's a good reason for that. Okay, so that's exercise five out of the way. Now we're doing our lunge hold swaps. So basically what happens there is we lunge down to this position here, lean forward, and then we just swap our legs while staying low. Now one of my skills I'm not so good at is balance, so I'm going to try and rework really this one so I can improve my balance. Okay, if you find this bit tough, then you're okay just to stand up in between. Okay, an easier option. If you really want to go for it, make sure you stay as low as possible. Good. Okay. Shake them out. Okay. Last exercise. Plank position. Jumping your feet in and out. In plank position, make sure you've got your core nicely engaged. Do that by breathing out and pulling your belly button in. See if you get some real pace going. It's the last exercise on this seven batch. And then we've got a minute recovery. Let's just really go for it, come on. Okay, if you're struggling with that intensity, you do steps in and out. Okay, good. Seven exercises done. That's the full circuit. Now, it's about how many times we do it. What have you got? We've got 60 seconds of recovery coming up. Okay, once that six seconds is up, we're doing it again, all seven exercises, straight the way through, okay? 
it's a good chance to take a drink. Whew, well needed. Remember, listen to your body. So we'll go through some of the, the different levels that you can use on these exercises as we go now, okay? All right, so we're gonna start with our spidey climbers. So those ones, remember, you can either jump with them or you step with them. Be honest with yourself, make sure you choose the right intensity for you. And if you're due at doing them in the, in the hard intensity and you, and you start to fatigue really quickly, then just change to the lower intensity as you go, okay? Here we've got 18 seconds left. Let's get some deep breaths in. And out. Okay. Oh, we're going to war now. Can we do this? Come on, second circuit. We got this. Okay, you're ready. Hands down. Leg up. Ready. Steady. There we go. Okay, chunk your spine long. Your eyes are looking down to the floor, but you're not tucking your head down. Take good techniques throughout and just use a strong position each time to try and finish strong with the leg as forward as you can. You may not be able to get as forward as I am, or you might be able to go, even go more forward. Just use the range of movement your body can handle. Okay, some people may be shallower like this, and some people are really far forward. Okay, good. One down, six to go. Whew. So straight arm bridges now. So remember, hands by your bum, lift your bum off, and then lift it all the way so your bum squeezes at the top. Okay, not sure this is the best angle on the camera there. Okay, now I should have done this one side on. So hopefully you can tell what I'm doing. That's it. So your hips are coming out high so that your from your knee to your shoulder is one straight line because the hips have made that line. Good, okay. Excellent, okay, exercise three, remember. Bring your step in, bring your ball in, you have a box, could be anything. Just something you can raise your feet to. Ready to get that cardio going again, here we go. Go. Come on guys, let's really go for this one. This might be your second and final circuit. If you haven't got too much time or your fitness isn't, isn't so strong, Ideally, I'm suggesting you do three rounds of these, okay? So we get to the end of this second round, you rewind the clip and go for that third one, okay? A minimum of two rounds. Here we go, last few seconds. Come on, let's see what we got. Let's go, let's go. Whew. Good. Layer coming off surely now. Tricep press ups, hands close together. Get yourself ready. Hands to the floor. Come on the floor. Whoa, elbows tucked in. If you can do them like that, great. If it's too hard and your back starts to drop, stop, knees down, and carry on. Okay, so choose the intensity that works for you. Here we go. Okay, Oof, I have to work with them ones. All right, so exercise five, the burpees. Here we go, here we go. Burpees, love them, don't you? Go, so feet all the way back, in, jump up, maybe the squat down on the way down. Squat, hands to the floor, back out, get that squat position, jump through. Then it's all about what speed you got. You could take the intensity down. You could step, 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 then jump. Okay? Just listen to your body. Oh, I'll do one more quickly. Oh. Okay, good. Whew. Okay. So, exercise six is our lunge hold swaps. I almost forgot that there. Okay, so with that position, we swap it over and try and keep low if we can. Remember, haven't quite got the strength to stay low. That's okay, come up at the top and then down into them. Okay, make sure your knees 
and bending at 90 degrees. I'll try to do some low ones again. So stay as low as you can if you think you can do it with good form. 90 degree bends at your knees. Good, okay. Here we go, last exercise coming up. Woo. It is your plank jacks. So, good plank position. Knees off. If you're not capable of doing the jump ones, then a step in on each one. Out and in. Okay, or the jumping one, which we're gonna try and see if we can do throughout. Can you do it with me? How fast can we go? This is the last exercise. Okay, if we're doing two circuits, this is it. At the finish, get that spine long, head long. Keep jumping as fast as you can, come on. Strong finish, we got this. Oh, there we go. Okay, brilliant work, okay? So it could be the end for you, or you could take it back to start this round and go again for the third circuit or even the fourth circuit. Depending on how fit you are and how much time you have. Okay, thanks for joining me. Um, well done, guys. Thank you so much for coming and doing this. And uh, this is obviously here for you to use uh, as and when you want to. And of course, we've got to change it around. So the new video is coming on. And just leave your suggestions and your uh, thumbs up uh, below. And um, yes, we I also run online PT and online boot camps, similar to what we're doing today, really, that type of thing. There's some family boxing sessions also. So please um, feel free to contact me uh, at richard at fitnessize.co.uk uh, for more information and for booking in on that. And you'll get a free trial for your first session so you can try it out for free. Again, thank you and see you next time. Cheers.